Hey guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I, in this video, I'll be unboxing a very big, um, what do you call this, figure. So once I saw this, like immediately, I was like, I need this. So this is the uh, Rem Winter Made Image version. The f it's actually really big. So I'm just I'm not gonna show the box because it's too big. It doesn't like fit on my desk. I'll just unbox it first. Okay, so this looks really, really nice. So I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna show the box. Let me just move my keyboard here. So it will be a bit close to the camera because it's too big. But I'm just gonna show you a uh, quick. Uh, what do you call this? Just a quick look through on like how the box looks like. So this is probably okay. So. Uh, I was supposed to uh, get this on like folded box just to save up more on like the shipping but I wanted the box to be like like this and not folded so I had to pay a little bit more for the shipping but it's okay so anyways uh, the front of the box as you can see here is rim taking up the whole entire box as you can see and then we have a logo of some something here i think it's maybe the one who made the figure or <clears throat> excuse me uh the company that designed the figure i'm not entirely sure but this is the front of the box i can't show it that much because it's too big and as you can see there we have uh the name of the anime in japanese and then we have rem winter a winter made image version then here's the side Here's the back. What I really like about this is the base. As you can see, it's not just like a circular, simple base. It actually has a sign, so that's really cool. So let me just unbox it. Okay, so I got the figure right here. I'm going to carefully put it down. Okay, so this this still has its um the shell thing since it is MISB or mint and sealed box, which is nice. So let me just uh, remove the shell and then I'll show you the figure and the base. <clears throat> okay, so I got them both out of the uh, plastic wrap or like the shell. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first we're going to take a look at uh, the base. So this is, the, I think this is the first figure that I own that actually has a, um, what do you call this? A different kind of like style on the base instead of having like, uh, design on like this thing here instead of being it like a black or white and having designs this is my first figure it has a separate piece for the base actually right here so as you can see so first let's take a look at them one by one <coughs> so as you can see right here uh, the bottom base or like the main like uh, base piece is uh, just clear and then you can see there is the markings right there there we can try to make it focus there we go so yeah here it has like uh, two holes for this this piece to uh, come in so yeah and there's nothing really uh, interesting about this one so that's just the main base and now let's take a look at this piece right here it's actually really really big and you can see right here um, on the bottom it's kind of has like a star and then there's two pegs right there so this is actually on like uh slanted so probably rim it's gonna be on an angle as well right here as you can see here is the peg i think this is where rim's uh feet are gonna come in or something i don't know but anyways the design of this looks really really nice and then the coloring as well it comes there is like uh, a shade of like light blue purple and transparent so that's really cool so let's actually put this on the base right now. Okay, so it's this way. There we go. This is how it looks like. Looks really neat. It's kind of off angle though, but I mean off centered, but that's okay. And now let's take a look at the main thing, which is the figure. So this one is really big. I'm not sure if it has the same size as um the other rim figures that I have so right here is the figure it looks really really cute and looks gorgeous as well so first let's show oh there is some I don't know what that is but first let's look at the face let me just move my 
this bit and then zoom in. As you can see, there is no uh, paint chips whatsoever on the face. They did a pretty good uh, paint job on that. So uh, her other eye can be seen. So this one, um, instead of like being transparent on the end, so they just added like some shading. So that's, that's cool. It has her uh, iconic ribbon and her headband as well, which is nicely detailed, as you can see. Where it even has this like flower thingy on top, instead of just being white. And then you can see there as well that the headband goes under her hair. And here's the back. So yeah, in this pose, it kind of looks like she's jumping or something. That's why the uh, the base is kind of angled. Then here is her body right here. The dress looks really, really nice. So also it has this like design as you can see, which is supposed to make it look uh, more realistic. Because since it's a winter uh, themed figure, she has like this kind of like jacket or something that has the texture inside. As you can see right there. And here's the front of her, uh, here's the front of the body. She has like uh, a black ribbon here. <clears throat> and then here as well as you can see, the design is there as well. So this ain't, this is not like uh, just plain, it has uh, texture in it as well. And then the back, the folds looks really great, especially on the back right here. That looks nice. And then, let's take a look at the bottom, the dress here. There is some, I don't know what this is though, I don't know if you can see it, but right, hey, I'm trying to make, I don't know how to uh, show it, okay, so never mind, but there is like a part there which just, uh, I don't know if that's a paint chip or something, but as you can see right here, she is wearing a, kind of like a dress, and then there is a, I don't know if this is called an apron, I mean, an apron is like from here to there, but she kind of has this like thing here on the bottom. And then the dress, the folds are nice. It's really big as well. And then we have the bottom of the figure right the shoes, here. Shoes, they are in a kind of like a purple color and it looks really shiny as well. So that's nice since um, you don't want it to look like the same as the dress. So as you can see right there, it's really shiny. Just it's just plain basic shoes though. And then here is the uh, below under the figure, as you can see, there is also some texture in the bottom, right there. So yeah, there, okay, there is some smudges on the leg right here. I'm not sure if I can remove that, but that is okay. So let's actually uh, start putting on the base. Alright, so here we have her on the base. I'm gonna let's actually remove my phone from this thing so I can show you properly. So I apologize for how messy my I mean how like there's just some dust on my desk. But anyways, let's just point this way. So as you can see right here, it is a really big figure. Right there, as you can see. Okay, so the camera is really shaky for some reason, even though it's like not even zoomed in. Okay, there we go. Okay, as you can see here, we have the figure itself. So, um, okay, as you can see here, we have the figure itself. I had to remove my phone from the uh, tripod because it doesn't want to show everything. But anyways, okay, I apologize for like my dusty desk as well. So here is the base, as you can see, rim looks really amazing. The figure is really big as well. Very satisfied with what I got. So if you guys uh, plan of, on getting this one, I definitely recommend it. There is also, I think, a special version, which I don't know if it's like available here in our country. But anyways, um, that's it for this unboxing. So if you want to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and peace out.